this video, we'll be talking about neo-behaviorism. And neo-behaviorism is the extension of behaviorism, and it started in the 1960s. It was mainly influenced by Edward Tolman, Edwin Guthrie, Clark Hall, and B.F. Skinner. They adhered to the concept that conditioning was a learning process in psychology, but extended the subject matter from observable behavior to include unobser unobservable behavior. This is called the stimulus response organism response approach or the SOR approach. Dorman inferred that the factors within the organism such as memory, thinking, emotions and needs are intervening variables. I'm going to try to explain the stimulus organism response. So if I take this feather and tickle the person, this person or organism could decide how to react on the stimuli. This action would be influenced by thinking, previous experience, memory, and this will determine the outcome. They will either laugh about it, or they could be angry about it. Near behaviorism introduced consciousness to behaviorism theories. This led to social learning theories being developed. Social learning occurs through cognitive processes, which are processed by which the individual becomes conscious of its environment. For example, recognition and observation of people's behavior. A great example of behaviorism in industrial and organizational psychology is that of Taylorism. Now Taylorism assumed that by standardizing the components of a job task and by using money as an incentive for efficiency, workers' financial incentives to work would lead to high productivity at low cost to the company. Let's break this up. Stimulus would be the financial incentive. The organism, the worker, is the intervening organism factor and the response would be a high productivity at low cost to the company. 